Excellent. So now we send our invoice off to the carters. When we get it, I may assume that they'll be sending a, a payment in in the near future. So the final step would be to, let's imagine they gave us a check on that invoice. Well, that would bring us back to our accounting tab and cash receipts. Recall from when we put our deposit in, our cash receipt window, click the add button, put in the Carter's code. Well, conversely, I could have input the invoice number itself in as well, and then just fill out all the information of the receipt itself. Let's imagine that they, they're just paying for our um, invoice balance due on the sofa of 26.54.85. Use today's date, it's just fine for our receipt. Let's say they paid via check again, put in the check number. We won't be recording any deposits or retainers this time, but we will be selecting our invoice 10,004 for final payment. When we do, we can see our payment on the invoice matches our amount, so our total receipt matches with a difference of zero. Click OK, and we have our payment check ready to process. We could print our journal, click Post, and we'll go ahead and process our check for the balance due on the invoice. We drop off our new tab, and we can see it listed at the top of our existing tab. And if we look back at our specifications, we can see Oh, we can't see our item. Why? Because it has gone all the way through the design cycle to a completed status. And Design Manager automatically drops it from our active list of items and, and groups it into the completed section, again, keeping our specification list as orderly and tidy as possible.